Hello guys, it's Mojomart here, and I'm just going to show you how to do professional lighting. Um, so, <coughs> what you want to do is you want to open Cinema 4D, and I've just got a really basic scene, just some vases and some balls, and then on a steamless floor, so you just I'll render that now. See, it hasn't got anything, it's just reflections and just no lighting or anything. And as you can see, they're reflective, but it doesn't look like it. So, what you want to do is, there's one way to do it where you can add a um, Grayscale Gorilla overhead softbox. That works. Now if I render that, you'll have some shadows, take a lot longer to render though. But you get the idea, you can see the reflections. But, if you haven't got anything by Grayscale Gritter, like the studio pack, which I'll show you in a minute, and the light kit, you can add skylight which has reflections as well but as I said it takes a long time to render because Camtasia takes up quite a lot of memory so that's a bit annoying but yeah so you can see the reflections what I like to do is use the studio pack book by Grayscale Griller just add a studio rig and then I'll actually choose the colours and I like any of these two i use this one oops drag that in there and then you want to add global illumination Wait a sec. Now when I render, it'll look a lot better. See, you can already get the shades of the colours from the HDRI. Because it really stands out if you have global illumination on. So we just... See, you got the really nice shades, really good reflections and just amazing. Got like the glow of the green on the side, and now here we got some orange going on. And as you can see, it's getting some shadows at the bottom. That's now we're getting some red over there as well. And you got the reflection of the sky, which is quite bad. That's easy to do. Go into the compositing tag. Same boy. Uh. I don't know actually. There you go, this one. Symbol reflection. But if you haven't got anything by Grayscale Griller, then I'll just delete these two. And say if you're just left with this, which looks very bad. Oh. You're getting a little bit of reflection, but it doesn't look very good, doesn't look re realistic at all. So what what's really good if you want to get some good reflections, which is very common, you just add a plane, then add a luminance onto it. And then drag it up. And then if you're under, you're getting some reflections at the top. But it still looks pretty basic. So, I'm just going to add a floor and then 
add a compositing tag and then click compositing background and then add a background and then if you render this now it will have a seamless floor which is basically what grayscale grillers is and then you can say if you want white to black or in my case I'll use blue dark blue to white no to black add a gradient put it to circular put a dark blue and then nearly black and then add that both to the background and to the floor then we we'll render you've got literally the same effect but you haven't got any shadows or anything oh you need to change the um, I think it's flat I think no that's not right maybe already don't know actually it's on the floor isn't it if I put that to frontal now there we go that's what we want so as you can see it's going to black that's basically exactly the same effect as the um, seamless floor so you can do that for the seamless floor I'll just put this into a null so then if you want the HDRI you can just add a HDRI in a sky or if you want some cool looking reflections and lights and stuff you can maybe put on one side change the colour of it, I'll have a greeny colour, put the opacity down and then try and copy control V and then on the position just add a minus to it enter and then maybe add a blue to it and now when we render you'll have the shades of it see the shade of the blue shade of the green so then maybe um, but what I will do is I'll put in the description a link and it will have be a Cinema 4D file and all it will have is a overhead softbox in it from Grayscale Griller, nothing else so it hopefully won't be copyrighted or anything <coughs> so then that's how you can get some realistic shadows oh well you, or you can put this to shadow map soft or area shadow which is realistic more realistic but it'll take a long time to render so I won't do it just in this case so you can see looking good now if I have global illumination render that I'll just pause it and come back when it's when it's rendered because it's gonna take a while. All right, guys, I'm back. So this is what it looks like with global illumination. Not a big difference, but you can see the blue and the green, like the different shades. But I suggest if you really want professional lighting for product shots and stuff, things like that, then you should go ahead and buy Grayscale Gorilla Studio Pack. I don't recommend the light pack because the studio pack has all the HDRIs and the colours that give you really nice shades on it. And then you get the light pack, I mean the studio rig and the seamless floor. And you get the vase, the vases which I just use for a quick setup for this. So, well, I'm going to show you how to do some good reflections now, as well. So I'm just going to delete everything. I 
I'll keep that though. And then, so I'll just have a sphere maybe. And then pull it up. Size it, size it down a little bit, move it over the side maybe. Add a luminance to it. And then just drag it onto my sphere. And then if you oh wait, let me just turn global illumination off. You wanna render it, you'll have the see the little sphere. Maybe if we have the sphere radius a little bit whoa too big. About that big then it'll see more in the reflections. See, you can see it there, 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 so, and then I'm just going to put the reflection up a bit on the red. There you go, you can see a little bit more. So, then maybe you want to have a, another reflection, so basically this is making your own HDR right maybe take it towards it a little bit and then move it over here a little bit rock this onto it then when we render we'll have the luminance um, playing in the front of it that's a bit bad that you can see it right there but obviously you won't have something that's fully reflective in your scene so that's alright so and then maybe if you want to add a I don't know not that haven't got long left to do so maybe add a disc, drag this up and then add luminance to that, render that, so if you get some better reflections, yeah you can, you can see what I'm doing, see that you can see it a lot better in the black there, so you get the idea really, I'll have a link in the description for a .c4d file which will have the softbox into it in it just the softbox so just so it'll just be literally it'll literally be it'll be that that works, that's what it'll be so well that's a lot of things Well, anyway, so um, have a link in the description for that, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Helps me out a lot. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Bye. Pain is deep. A silent sleeper, you won't hear a peep.